Dan Gertzel. I'm here with my good friend Desdemona, the, the handsome robot, and it's my privilege to invite you to the AGI 22 conference, which is in Seattle uh, this, this month, August 19 to 22. So together with a bunch of my colleagues from the AGI field, I've been organizing these events since 2006. They keep getting better and better each year as we get closer and closer to realizing AGI. So August 19th, the first day of the event, we have four in-depth workshops digging into different aspects of how to, how to create AGI, including one on the OpenCog Hyperon approach to, to AGI, a sort of neural symbolic evolutionary AGI approach and that I'm, I'm heavily in, involved in. Then Sunday, the third day of the event, is opened up more to a, a general audience with less technical talks and we're focusing there on ethical machine creativity, you know, on, on AI, AI music, AI art, creative hypothesis formation, creative natural language generation systems, and how can we make AI creativity, you know, make amazing inventions and artworks, but in a way that also, you know, resonates with the, the beneficial development of, of humanity and, and AI together. We've got a whole bunch of contributed papers from AGI researchers around the world and some great keynote talks as, as, as well. So we have Joe Shabak talking about how AI and fundamental physics come together to give us a new view of the, of the digital universe. There's a Farsight chat with myself and Gary Marcus looking at both the weaknesses of current deep learning approaches as, as ways of getting toward AGI and how cognitive science and neural symbolic approaches may give, give a better avenue for getting, for getting to AGI. We've got Rachel St. Clair talking about novel approaches to AGI hardware, Chris Poulin talking about deep reinforcement learning in gaming and beyond, and how you might beef up deep reinforcement learning to become maybe more and more AGI like we have. Charles Simon from Future AI talking about his own sort of self-organizing graph approach to, to AGI and the implications of that for computational creativity. Way, way, way more stuff than I could possibly summarize. And, you know, best of all, on Sunday night, we've got a, a music performance by the Jam Galaxy Band, which features the, the Desdemona robot uh, singing, reciting AI-generated poetry, me playing keyboards, and a whole bunch of other awesome human musicians. So, yeah, please uh, come to the AGI 22 event. Uh, buy your plane ticket to Seattle right now. See you at AGI 22, unless the singularity happens first. All right, we'll try to postpone the singularity till the day after the conference, so we, so we all get to enjoy it. So yeah, see you in Seattle.